Welcome to another study vlog. I just got home from work this morning. Ollie's watching us. Today it's raining, but in spite of that, I am going to uni and I endeavor to work on that class and the assessment that I have due on Friday and also hopefully watch some lectures. A true miracle has occurred. I got a parking spot in the train station car park and not on the street outside. This week I have uni tomorrow and then I am babysitting Wednesday night to Friday night. But this vlog is just today. I'm working on an assessment piece for public relations, an audit of sorts. It's my first ever public relations assessment. I wanted to share some of my research advice. So firstly, this here is how I set up my research notes, how I've always done it and how I 100% recommend to do it. You have your sources in one column, your research and then your notes. The notes are very important and I find that I end up writing a lot of my essay in these notes because you have your research, you have your source and you can kind of just put it together there. You're paraphrasing of course but it makes a huge difference to, to the success of your essay and how quickly you can write it as well. So that's my biggest recommendation when it comes to researching. Secondly you need to have good places to find sources. Now a lot of people recommend Google Scholar which is a great source for sure, but I wouldn't actually shy away from going straight to Google. If you know what you're looking for, you can go to Google. Make sure you've got a good source, you know, consider .org is always helpful. You just kind of get away from like .net for, for example, .net's probably not your best friend. And yes, you can use Google successfully, you just need to be careful. The same actually goes for Wikipedia. If you find information on Wikipedia that you're like, this is exactly what I was looking for, this is what I want to say, find where Wik the people who wrote Wikipedia got their source from and use that. Go to that website, find that book, and then no one will be any the wiser. I'm actually a source on a Wikipedia article, which is really funny. I wrote a Medium article about a, an ancient feminist called Eloise, who was a nun and made an amazing difference to the way medieval people viewed marriage and relationships and menstruation as well. Anyway, I need to go catch the train, but I hope some of that research advice really helps someone out there. It's half past four and I am very happy to be heading home. Since I have work tomorrow morning at 6.45 and then uni again, I wanted to show you my bullet journal for August, which I made. This is it. This lovely picture of my friends, my mother and I in, in um, Melbourne. And then there's these um, these little decorative pieces because August is cold, so it makes sense. Thank you very much for watching this vlog with my research advice and just my general study day. And I will see you all next week. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you very much. Goodbye.